What's up everybody? Today I'm going to compare some solar panels. I have a few in the test lab and I said why don't I see how they compare to the stats and I'm going to do it one basic way which is laying flat on the ground and all of them at the same point and right now it's April, April 3rd in California so it's still early, not a direct sun, 1 p.m. in the afternoon so you, so you can see there's a little bit of a shadow and I'll just compare them flat, how they do. And then what I'll do is one or two of them, I'll try to put at the optimal angle. So you see what we're working with. All right, and I'm gonna measure it with a power station right here. And I'll take a picture of the reading. So here's my power station. And what I'll do, I'll connect them all with these connectors one by one. And I'm, I'll make sure to get out of the out of the sun, out of the shadow. Okay, so the first one is the an all powers 200 and the reading is 83 watts at this angle, all right? What we have next is an EcoFlow bifacial, 400 watts, I believe, or 200 watts. We're just gonna do it flat on the ground first, but then later we'll, we'll try to do what the manufacturer Recommends which is at an angle and it gets sun from both sides and this guy right here 90 watts from the 200 watt EcoFlow when laying flat on the ground on on this Sun All right, the next one is an EcoFlow 100 water so all the solar panels are new used once or twice for testing all right this guy claims 100 watts and it is getting 76 so this one is an Egritech 100 water, 71 watts, not too bad. Okay, now we have the Ugreen 200 water. The Ugreen 200 watts, we measured at 126 watts or 63% of claimed. Now we have a what brand is this? 200 watt panel, a fairly big one from Pecron. Pecron's a pretty good brand with a very long wire. And I do like that some of these uh, panels, they come with their wires and their little pouch already all built in. Oh, this is the one that's hard to get out. This thing wants, keeps wanting to come out. XT60. Okay, so the Pecron 200 water is coming in. And the Pecron got 126 laying flat on the ground and we took the time to aim it and it got 152. So quite a difference. All right, the next thing I'll do is the goal zero input solar all right so the gold zero the 50 water is coming in hot at 37 watts so as a in relation to the proportion it's not bad so now what i'd like to do is the eco flow put it at the right angle of the sun and see how high we can get it all right and our final test was we aimed the ecoflow 220 by facial because it's double sided and it got 157 watts or 76 percent so there you go my friends a little comparison of the solar panels in house so the conclusions of this little test are gold zero 50 watt is 74 percent acclaimed egritech 100 watt is 71 percent acclaimed and ecoflow and pecron 69 in the 60%. The not good performers are the all powers at 41% and the eco flow by facial at 41% because it, it really should be aimed and not put on the ground. But with price considered, the Gold Zero is quite expensive. So the Egritech 100 water at 71% is a really good buy. Thanks a ton.